hello folks so this is the part 2 video of building image caption deep learning model series where i will be covering uh, the code related to loading the descriptions of each image in order to clean the text to remove any punctuations words containing numbers so on and so forth so i will also uh, be covering a code related to uh, converting the image descriptions into vocabulary of words so that our embedding layer of uh, you know um, lstm model can understand these word tokens to generate correct text strings or captions for the images if you are new to uh, word embeddings and lstm uh, model and wants to get complete information on it then click on the i button above to get the uh, required information please watch this video till the end to uh, get the complete information on code being explained today folks this is nitin welcoming you to the ai university channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like deep learning machine learning uh, ai big data hadoop virtual reality and cloud computing and you can acquire the related uh, you know skill set in order to advance your career in these fields this channel takes on hands on approach to build ai based products and applications so if you are new to this channel then consider subscribing to it or if you have already uh, subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century so let's uh, move quickly on to the code okay uh, let me open my jupyter notebook okay so here uh, first uh, you can see that i am importing the string library to perform some text based operations like getting rid of punctuations uh, from text strings etc next i am creating uh, this function uh, called load doc function which will take a file name as an argument and read uh, you know basically it will read the flickr 8k uh, dot token dot txt file uh, which is residing inside flickr 8k text folder okay this file contains descriptions for all the images okay so each of the image file name uh, basically contains a unique identifier which is uh, linked with corresponding descriptions in the flickr 8k dot token uh, text file okay so basically we are kind of uh, reading or loading that file using this function okay load doc function next i am creating a function uh, called load descriptions here as you can see here right load descriptions uh, which if provided with document tags will return a dictionary of image identifiers and corresponding descriptions okay so each of these image identifiers maps to a list of one or more text based descriptions this function takes a document as an argument as you can see here okay and uh, inside this function first i'm initializing a dictionary named mapping okay and uh, then uh, i'm incorporating a for loop here to read each sentence from the document by splitting them on the basis of new line character called backslash n as you can see here okay so i'm splitting it on the basis of new line character now each of the sentence is split on the basis of white spaces okay and uh, basis of white spaces into individual words or token okay so as you can see here all right using this statement please note that uh, you could also use um, a natural uh, language processing classes like sent underscore tokenize to tokenize uh, paragraph into sentences and word underscore tokenize class to tokenize sentence into individual words okay so you can use the nlp techniques as well next i'm storing uh, the image uh, descriptions for corresponding image ids now once uh, that is done then uh, we take first token as image id you can see here which is this one okay so first token as image id and rest of the others which is this one as image description 
okay so now in the next line we will remove the file name from uh, you know image id uh, using this okay so you can see that we are splitting on on the basis of uh, dot right so we are separating out the file name from the image id okay and in the next line we will convert back all the tokens okay of the description to text string using this join function right next i am um, storing the image descriptions for corresponding image ids okay uh, in the dictionary called mapping which finally is being returned here from this load description function okay so that is what we are doing in this function next function uh, we are defining here is clean um, descriptions okay which is uh, self explanatory and i won't go much uh, deeper into this uh, so here we are uh, first uh, uh, passing a dictionary of image identifiers okay and its corresponding descriptions as an argument here okay so description uh, as an argument to the function through this function we are cleaning the text description okay so here we are first converting all the words to the lower case as you can see here right and uh, you know and that we are doing this to in order to be consistent okay uh, in terms of the words or text provided next we are uh, when i'm saying consistent that means uh, we should have all the words in same format so it should not be like that we have a word uh, with the first letter as capital letter and rest all the other small letters uh, and uh, other other word which is all small letters so we have to be consistent from that perspective that's why we are converting all the words into lower case okay next we are removing all the punctuations here right uh, and after that uh, we are removing all the single character words here okay so we don't want single character words right lastly we are removing all the words which has some numbers into it using this particular line of code okay so next function we are defining here is this two vocabulary function which is being used to transform uh, descriptions into a set so that we can get an idea of uh, the size of our data sets vocabulary right this function takes the description as an argument as you can see here right it is taking this as an argument and inside this function we are first initializing the um, uh, we are first initializing the set function as you can see here right after that for each key uh, as you can see here for each key we are picking up the corresponding description such that all the words in that description are first split on the basis of white spaces okay here uh, using d dot split and then those words are added to set called uh, all desk okay which is a set which was basically initialized above right here as you can see right so finally this set is returned from the function right next function is save description function okay which takes two arguments number one is uh, dictionary which will contain mapping of uh, image identifiers to the corresponding descriptions and the second argument is the uh, file name uh, or the name we want to give to the file in which we, we will be saving this mapping of image identifiers to cleaned descriptions so here we are first initializing uh, an empty list in which using the below uh, for loops these two loops we are storing uh, image identifiers and corresponding descriptions which are separated by this blank okay lastly we are saving this file uh, by writing it using the file name we have provided here as an argument okay all right so if uh, once that is done then we passed uh, the file name so the file name in which the descriptions are stored is this file 
and we are storing this file name uh, into this particular variable called file name and then we are passing uh, this file name step uh, in first into load doc uh, which will contain the uh, you know uh, descriptions of all the uh, all the descriptions of this files next we are passing that into load descriptions okay and subsequently into clean descriptions and two vocabulary okay and finally we are saving uh, the image identifiers and corresponding uh, cap uh, text or description into this particular file which is called descriptions.txt okay so when you when we ran the cell we you, you can see that uh, we have loaded 8092 descriptions so we have 8092 descriptions for these five uh, images and uh, when we generated the vocabulary size uh, using this two vocabulary function okay we the uh, size of the vocabulary came as 8763 okay and uh, and all the descriptions are stored in this file now okay along with its uh, image identifiers okay as calculated in here in these through these functions okay so folks this is it for this video uh, to conclude uh, we cleaned the descriptions here uh, created the vocabulary and saved all the descriptions to a file in this video so let me ask you a question from today's video what will be the impact on image captions generated if we don't remove the punctuations from it please post your comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section uh, and i will be glad to answer your questions if you're watching this video and you're not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you